So my office is upstairs, and what that means is that sound radiates through the floor into my room. And I can tell when certain patients are coming to my office, not only because of their appointment time, but you can hear the cadence and the rhythm of their gait. I can tell when my father's coming or certain friends because of just the, the loudness, the weight of the step, whether they drag their feet or not. What's interesting is when Larissa's appointment time was coming, I heard this gait, rhythm, and cadence that was not normal to her normal gait. And I thought for a minute that I was maybe somebody else was coming into the office, but when I came out of my office into the waiting room and I saw Larissa's face, I could see that she was sad, crying, and depressed. This is that session. Lots of spasms Where? Um, in my, both of my hands. I'll just keep like spasming, spasming, spasming. Same with my right eye. And then I'm getting these convulsions in the back of my head and my spine that make my jaw just kind of clench. I'm not sleeping. Um, serious brain fog. Stomach pain, but the guy that I saw yesterday was like rubbing it really hard in here and like trying to push my stomach down. I think yesterday put me into overdrive too. My body couldn't handle the simple things he was doing. There's so many people I mean over the past year that say they want to help, just don't after the first couple of sessions. Everyone's excited at first, and then if they can't figure it out, they're just going to send some more else. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Why don't you make a right fist for me? I want you to look to the right. I had a neck problem probably since the time I was 11 years old. I flew up a swing at Lake Casitas and hit my face in a rock. And I spent the next, I don't know, 25 years of neck pain or 30, whatever it was. And then I went to chiropractic college. And we started practicing each other and my neck was killing me all the time. And I'm seeing all these chiropractors. I'm seeing chiropractor after chiropractor. I can't find a proper way to sleep. My neck's always killing me when I put my head on my pillow. It just, everything's cramping. There's never a spot that I'm comfortable. I go, and I'm chasing chiropractors. I'm going to their offices. I'm going to their seminars. I'm, I'm having everybody treat me. Right. Through the fate of the universe, I met my guru. <laughs> it's such a bizarre story. I was looking through this magazine about this community called the AK community and for some bizarre reason I remember the name of the secretary <laughs> like it's the most random thing ever right. this guy's name was Michael Allen he was the treasurer secretary something obscure like it wasn't the president it wasn't the CEO it was random like... and I was working at a conference handing out name tags and lo and behold the name tag I hand out is this guy Michael I'm like hey I know you <laughs> And we talk, and he adjusts my neck, and he changes my universe. Wow. And from that adjustment, from going to doctor to doctor to doctor, my body got really hot after the adjustment. Yeah. I heated way up. I was freaking out because I'd never, I've been a patient for 11 years, right. and nobody ever caused my body to heat up. Right. And all of a sudden, I had this huge flush of blood go through all my extremities. Right. And I recognized whatever. I've been studying <laughs> has been a complete waste of my time. I've been on the wrong path, but that's how I got the education. Wow. And here's the thing. I, I did all the energetic muscle testing. I did all that. I went to all the seminars and all the classes and paid for all the books. And, and I, I believed in that stuff for the longest time, Marissa. And here's the deal. You can chase fairy tales forever in that universe. It just me up more is what it did. It was a birthday gift, so I didn't really have a choice to. I just I went because my friend was like, the guy is good, like really good. 
I'm sure he's good with normal patients. Yeah, but I like I almost couldn't leave his office because I was so weak after the session. Anytime I feel bad, you make me feel better before I come out. And that's what I realized yesterday. It's like he didn't exactly care that I couldn't get off of his table or that I was freezing cold or that like I couldn't see properly. He didn't know how to fix that at all. Time to go. You're in the way. Yeah. Other patients are yeah. taking up space. Yeah, he was just like, I'm done now. Like I've told you what I think and.